toward the end of the vegetative period, on rust-infected wheat leaves, and usually on the underside of the leaf, a second spore type forms. With these teliospores, the sexual stage in the life cycle of Puccinia recondita begins. A young, still immature teliospore. It consists of two cells. The cells each contain a pair of sexually compatible nuclei, that is, they're dikaryotic. The two nuclei carry different genetic information. In the process of maturation of the teliospores, each pair of nuclei merges to form a single diploid nucleus, a nucleus with a double chromosome set. Following this nuclear fusion, or karyogamy, the spore wall thickens and becomes dark colored. Usually this maturation process of the teliospores is completed by harvest time. On stubble residues, the teliospores survive the dormancy period, the fall, and the winter. In spring, and especially in regions with warm climates, the teliospores germinate. The germ tube bends, forming a metabasidium. The diploid nucleus migrates into it. In two reduction divisions, or meiosis, the genetic information is recombined, resulting in four haploid nuclei. They're in two pairs, belonging to the plus and minus mating types, respectively. Now the metabasidium divides into four cells. On each of them, a sterigma emerges. The nuclei migrate through it into the developing basidiospores. As a complete entity, this fungal organ is designated a basidium. Similar basidia are found in most mushrooms. For this reason, they're classified together with the rusts and smuts as basidiomycetes.